All right, class. Y'all better try this again, okay? Y'all horrible. <laughs> All right, okay, come on. Okay, how about this? How about this? Okay, you have one more test after this one. Uh, after this one? What do you mean? Unit eight. Unit eight, you guys are almost done for the year. You got three weeks to go. No, you actually have a final. And guess what? Guess what? Look, I will listen. This is on recording, so you can actually hear it now. And you can actually play it back. Be like, Look, you said, Pacho said. Okay, now. The finals were 20% of your overall grade. That's for a good thing. It's a good thing because if your grade is, is struggling because unit five killed you, unit five killed you, okay, that means when you take the final exam, which consists of four different chapters, and it's all multiple choice, there's a little unit five on there. But is your other test going to bring that up? The other chapters will bring it up. And so every single year, even though that unit five is a struggle for everyone. Is unit six on there? Yes. Okay. How much is unit six? Same amount. Same amount. Okay. Anyway, but still, every year it's the final exam brings up people's grades. And I will do you one solid, okay? If you get an A on my final exam, I will bump up your grade a letter grade. Let's say you have a 30% average right now. Okay? <laughs> you ready? 30% average. But you, you know, drop two addies and then study your off and you pull an A. After your grade from your 30%, it goes up to 50%. I will give you a letter grade bump. So that fit that I I will round that F up to a D, D. D <laughs> but mathematically it was basically worth like 40% because you put in the work if you the reason why I do this with my final exam I made the final exam I know it it's a good final exam I made this test Are you have I had a study guide for every single exam so far this year <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking, have I? I don't know. I can't remember. I, I don't know. Sometimes it's questionable. It's questionable? You know that saying? Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, like I said, I will give you a letter grade bump. No matter what your grade is at the end, it will go up to the next letter grade. Okay? You, 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 after you got an A on the final, you now have a 71%. I will give that 71%. I will round it up to a uh, B. Because you're awesome. Yeah. A is average. That's what I expect. You get an S. I expect A's. I'm telling you, I, that's, that's the least. I expect A's. I expect everyone to actually do that. If you put in the work and not get on your phone every time I, I'm like trying to encourage people to do better, okay? That's you. Yeah, and, and it's not a good thing, okay? Seriously, hey, put it away. I don't need anyone suicidal right now. So, he's looking at student view. He's gonna be suicidal afterwards. Yeah. Hey, hey. Man, some people, anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. 7.4, we're going to finish this up so you can actually do the all the notes and work on the homework for this. Now, for this, we're looking, and if you take a look here, remember this is my magnitude, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So this is little a is going to be, it is the magnitude times cosine of your angle. Remember, isn't cosine always just the x when we're looking at the unit circle, right? Uh -huh. So to get the x value, that's what we're going to do. Same thing over here for b, okay, sine represents the y value, right? So to get the y value, it would be the magnitude times sine of my angle. 
and that's going to give me my coordinates or my direction for this. That makes sense? Good. So vector w, this thing right here, magnitude of 25, right there, and an angle of 41.7. Find the horizontal and vertical components. Okay, so that's going to give me this a comma b or in another way to say this is x comma y right ah now let's go ahead so to get the x value or in this case it would be the a but i like writing it as x because x is my left and right isn't it okay and we use a and b as all kinds of other variables so x is equal to so if I want to get the X, I want the magnitude of 25, right? Okay, magnitude of 25. Okay, so that's what that is. Direction is 41, so it's cosine of 41.7 degrees. And the same thing for the Y would be 25 because 25 is the magnitude and that would be the sine of 41.7 degrees. Hey Diego, just so you know, I actually had to use my flower pot so you can't drink out of it no more. Hmm? Yeah. Um, I am. Oh, the actual like pot, like a flower. Pot. Yeah, this is actually a flower pot. Okay. I thought you were using it as coffee. You just put like a leaf. Oh no, it's the other way around. It's a flower pot that people are using as a coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why, even though I told people it was my flower pot. And anyway, I'm propagating these, so it's like trying to get roots to grow. Uh. All right, you ready? So what do we get for X? So X is going to be a boot. Six, six. Okay, so let's call it seven. Let's just round it to a 10th here. And the Y component. 16 point six. Now, along with this, if you guys were paying attention the other day, that means that this coordinate right here is, uh, I hate doing that. This coordinate, which is gonna look like this, that uses parentheses, would be x comma y, so it's 18.7 comma 16.6. And that would be that point right there. All right. <clears throat> so, mer, 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 there we go. Write each vector and figure here in the form of, of vector notation. So, let's start off with this. Let's start with, uh, let's go U. U. Okay, so for U, to get my notation, I would have, so watch this. My magnitude is what? Say five. Five, and it would be the X value, so that's gonna be my cosine, right? Of what angle? 60 degrees, close, comma. Now I'm going to do the y value, right? Which is the magnitude, which is 5, right? Times sine of 
of 60 degrees. Now go ahead and math these for me, please. Let me see. Cosine 60 is bomb. Uh, we're at 3 over 2, 1 half. 2.5. And this one's going to be red 3 over 2 times 5. 2.5 red 3, which whatever the hell that is. What is it? 4.3. Does that make sense or no? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, Ron, is that what you got? Okay, good. I'm, I'm making sure because you were a little bit behind. You're kind of worried about your grade. So I'm trying to make sure you're okay. U, V, let's go V next. <clears throat> Now, let's see. Hey, hey, Ron, you said you were paying attention, right? Yes. Okay, so let's do, you get to do this. Tell me how I'm going to write for V. It's what? No. V. This one's V. Uh, no. 180. Because look at the angle. Okay, the angle, it, it's, it gives you this and it goes all the way over to there. 180. Comma. There you go. Now. So, for a bonus, who could do this without the calculator for me? What you got? Say it. Did you already do it in the calculator or you trying to cheat? Why would it be negative two zero? Very good. Yep, by the magnitude. So two times negative one is negative two. Zero times two, zero. <laughs> So it's almost like me making you do the unit circle was a very good thing. <sighs> okay. All right. So let me see. Blast, can you do uh, W for me? Right. Tamagotchi? Is what going where? Uh, is this for next hour? Sure, this hour. Advisory during advisory. Yeah. Yeah. Tamagotchi, I got you in a second. All right, go ahead, Blast. What do you got? All right, and this is going to be one you're going to plug in the calculator. Okay. All right, so good job on that. Anyone got this one yet? What do we got? Negative six. I don't like that one. I think he got his backwards. What do we got for the X value? You got what? 1.04. 1.0, okay, let's go 04, comma. Yeah, that seems right. 
Okay, because of the 6, I know definitely, if you think about it, what is it going in the x value here? It's going a very small amount, right? So if you're making little triangles out of each one of these, that the y value has to be negative, and it's going down, right? So, and then x value is a small number, and it's going to the right, so it's positive. Are we good there? Okay, good. We don't have to do what? 360 plus the negative? Did I miss? Oh, no, no, no. Like right here. Because this one, when we did this one here, didn't we get like negative 60 or something, right? What did we get on this? Okay, so that's this angle. So when we did it, we found this angle, right? Because we are looking for the angle there, right? This time, I'm not looking for the angle. I'm looking for the coordinates. So that's different. So it's just giving me directions. This time, since it gave us a negative here, and I didn't want that one. I didn't want it to go this way. I wanted it right here in red, which is going to give me this one in positive. That's the reason why we did that. All right. Properties, parallelograms, they are parallel. Okay, all these things are important. I'm hoping you guys actually took geometry at one point. Two forces, 15 and 22 newtons, all act on a point of the plane. Okay, angle between the two forces is 100. Find the magnitude of the resulting vector. So, basically, I'm trying to find this here trying to find this value from here to here the red one I'm trying to find the V vector so there there's a couple things that we're going to use from here parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel okay which ones are parallel here the 22s right 22s are here and the 15s are parallel okay the opposite sides and opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So let's take a look. So that means that if this is going to be 100 here, this is also 100. Now, what do I know about this? If it says that they are, it will add up to, so this one has to be, 80 degrees. Supplementary means that this and this will add up to 80 or 180. And so that means S down here, this angle is also 80 degrees. And let's keep going. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, but do not necessarily bisect the angles of a parallelogram. So, can I say that this side and this side are 50-50? Say no. Okay. We cannot say that. All right here. This is my diagonals here. My diagonals here are bisecting each other. But that means that this segment is congruent to this segment. Because it's not going to be the same, this segment here can be congruent to that segment. Hopefully that makes a little sense. Kind of. Now, when we're talking about these forces going in different directions here, think of it as we have... Let's say I have a small dog, okay? I um, I don't know, like some type of like rabbit chihuahua or something. I'm taking it for a walk, okay? So I'm right here. I'm gonna walk a dog and this rabbit chihuahua, I will call him, okay? That's a good chihuahua name. 
okay? And then there is a bigger dog, okay? There's a bigger dog. So you have two dogs. No no one should have two chihuahuas, okay? You got to have like a real dog too, like a, like a full-size dog. A real dog? Huh? A real dog? Chihuahuas are not real dogs. It's like a toy dog. What? It's not like a real dog. What do you use a dog for, okay? Okay, you use it for hunting. Use for fishing. Is it for pack mules? Is do you have any war dogs? No, like seriously, in in all actuality, working dogs, like dogs that actually have a real reason for. It. You have herding dogs. You have attack dogs, right? Chihuahuas are watchdogs. Okay, then you have like hunting dogs and, and you have like and you have like combat dogs. So like military units actually have canine canine units. Like everyone actually has a dog with them. No, they don't. But they're excellent watchdogs. No, I have a goat. Guess what? It's bad. Is it a full-size? No, it's a dwarf Nigerian. We just got it the other day, so. And it's still, still by bottle fed. Uh, we got it from the zoo for free because my daughter works at the zoo. Which uh, zoo? The wildlife zoo and aquarium off the 303. You, do, you work at what? The, the Phoenix one? Oh, that's cool. What do you do? You like give out churros or something? No, Oh. Because I have another student that's actually graduated like two years ago, and she, she got a job there selling churros. She said there was like a big turnover that anyone that applies can get a job selling churros. You just like sit there with like churros on a stick and they're... He's saying you got no qualifications, bro. I don't sell churros. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just saying she had no qualifications. She had no qualifications. Anyway, but still... Anyone here to sell churros? Or churro that's, that's, that's all coding and churro like like, I don't know how many of them work at the state fair. I don't know. And? Oh, state fair, they got paid bake. But at the zoo, you don't get paid much. And you have to sit out there for eight hours straight trying to sell a churro. Like a dried out piece of sugar and cinnamon. You are just churros right now, bro? Yes, I am. And why do you think I call my, my, my dog Diego here? Okay? Okay, so... Okay, so let, let's, okay, anyway, so some big attack dog, you know what, let, let's give it like some like crazy name, like, Princess. <laughs> let, let's, let's go Blast, okay, that, that'd be like a, a, like a big dog name, right, okay, then we have a Diego as a little Chihuahua dog name, huh, anyway, so you're taking these two dogs on a walk, okay, do they want to walk in the same direction, hell no, okay, which dog is actually going to pull more? Diego. No, Diego's going to bark at everything and like crawl under your feet when something scares it. Okay, so the bigger dog is going to pull you more in that direction, right? Say so yes. Oh, Y'all horrible. Anyway, all right, how about this? Y'all ain't ready. All right, so continuing on this conversation, I'm hoping everyone's actually trying to pay attention this time now now I'm gonna do this <clears throat> so uh, the way that they actually wrote this out I think that's where a lot of confusion is here so we got one person let's call him Denny okay He's walking his two dogs, right? He's got this dog. Okay. He is, call him Diego. Okay. He's a 15 pound dog. He's pulling that way. Okay. And then we have this other dog going this way. This is a, this is a raw. It's one of the new breeds that they came out with.
it's a Rottweiler Chihuahua mix. So it is like it's like a piranha on steroids. Okay. So this thing right here in 22. So we got the big dog we call Blast. Pulling this way. <laughs> anyway, so Danny is trying to walk these dogs, but they're pulling in different directions. So Danny's not going to be able to walk straight, is he? Because the force going this way and the force going this way are both different, aren't they? So if it was equal, it would balance out. Very good. But because they're not equal, Denny's going to end up going more towards this way, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. And that's what I was trying to get at here. So if by redrawing it, we could hopefully yeah. see what we have here. Yeah. yeah. And so anyway, so Denny's going to end up trying to walk at some, some direction here. So what I'm going to do is, and they did this with the parallelogram, but... I, I think them starting with the parallelogram just made it suck. So I'm going to make the parallelogram. And the angle, because you can clearly see Denny's arms in between here, is 100 degrees. Yes? Yeah. So... Because of this, we made a parallelogram, which is going to make this side 15 and this side also 22. Now, Denny's trying to walk these dogs. He's doing his best. Now, I want to know the vector that this is going to go on here. So Denny's going to try and walk straight, but he's not going to end up walking straight. So the vector is going to be this value since all these sides are not measured in distance, they're measured in newtons. So we could use the same principles in math for this. So these are going to be force going that way, force going that way. We could do the same thing. So that means I'm basically going to say I'm looking for this value here. I'm going to call it the distance for now, but it's not really the distance because we're not dealing in distance here. We're talking about forces. But the math works out the exactly the same in forces, in newtons. So I'm going to take just this top piece with Diego over here. He is a Rottweiler. Okay, Rottweiler. Rottweiler. There it is. That's Rottweiler. It's a, it's, 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 yes, it is. And a use? Yeah, you know it's a chihuahua, right? Yeah, but it's just like the last part. No, it's just so it's chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah. What the hell is that? Don't ever do that again. Anyway, so same rules apply. That means that this up here is going to be eighty because we made it into parallelograms. Yes. Say yes. Good. I'm going to go to this over here, and I. I'm just only going to refer to the side, one side of this now. So I'm only going to talk about this side. So this side is going to be the 15 here. This angle here is 80 here. What is this side up here going to be? If we're only talking about the piece right here, this is the only piece I want to refer to here. It's going to be 22. Because we got that because of the parallelogram. This is 22 here. Now, is this, hopefully this is going to make a little bit more sense. Do I have side, angle, side? So when I ever give you SAS, we could use law of cosine, law of cosine. So let's go ahead and label these first to make this math a little bit easier. I don't like PQRs. I like it A, B, C because that's as easy as one, two, three. Do, re, mi, A, B, C. One, two, three. Anyway.
So let's plug it into the law of cosines. Little b is going to be equal to the square root of, let's go 22 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 22 times 15 times cosine of 80. What'd you get? Yeah, see, put it in. You said six? No, it's not six. At least six. It's going to be so funny, but it's not six. Yeah, 24.4? Is that the distance that we got, right? I must have done some other stuff wrong. Okay, now, remember. <laughs> We're not talking about length, are we? We're talking about the... Okay, so this is the vector that we're talking about. This is the vector. Okay. So we got the magnitude here, which is going to be about 24.4. So that's what we were looking for all along. And them starting this off with the parallelogram, it just kind of messed you up. But hopefully you guys will remember now because you're walking a dog. We have Diego, which is a Rottwawa. And we have the big dog, Blast. There we go. So just think of it moving like that. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better. All right, vector operations. These are actually super simple. We're adding two vectors. Add together your X coordinate. Add together your y coordinate. And so together, that's going to give you your new coordinate by adding those together. Mag this right here, this is a scalar. That would be k times each of those items. Then right here, this one right here, if u is this, then negative u would be opposite. So you just multiply everything by negative 1. All right, you ready? Let's write this out. U is going to be negative 2, comma 1. V is 4, comma 3. Now, let's combine those together. So if I combine those to be U plus V, that's going to give me u, which is negative 2, plus my v part is 4, comma, 1, plus 3. So my u plus v vector is going to give me negative 2 plus 4 is 2, and 1 plus 3. And when you're going through showing your work, show this part because I don't want to see you guys actually make a little mistake because you it you know little sign issues. Yes, you could do this in your head, but at least write it down so you could show what's going on. So I don't I don't like seeing people make mistakes. I also really don't like seeing people playing on their phone and not giving up about graduating. It's all right. So negative two times u, my u here is going to be this which is 4 comma negative 2 so this is going to be a scalar product a scalar means that i'm just going to make that and multiply it by this factor yeah so it's going to be negative 2 times 4 comma negative 2 times negative 2 so i'm showing my work on this you guys actually don't need to do all that but at least this part. So this is going to give me negative 8, comma, positive 4. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? I did, didn't I? Yeah, it's so fine. So. 
Per pretend like it's there. Yeah, there we go. Pretend like it's there. Whoa, Whoa look at that. All right. On a whole new era. All right, three times you. Uh, all right, so they already give us three U. So three U is negative six, three. Minus two V, which is over here, which we already get my value. It's going to be here. And we get a comma six. So when we do this, I distribute the negative into it to make it into a negative value. So it's going to be six minus eight comma three minus six, which is negative two comma negative three. What? Negative six. What did I write down? No! Dang it. Uh, you guys got me on uh, uh, recording. I just messed up. Like, now the whole world is going to know that I suck at math. <laughs> and three <laughs> minus, do I have the other part right? Six. All right, so negative 14 comma negative Hmm? <laughs> okay, I won't. Good job for catching it, though. Good job. It, it tells me that you're paying attention. You're not on your phone. You should. Now, unit vector, magnitude 1. Okay, I and then J. So it's basically... Ah, dang it. It's I... It's got that vector is i and j. So it's basically like that. So when we have this, i and j like this, we're going to have other values to go along with it. So 3i, so that means 3 in this direction. And 4j, that means 4 in that direction. So we just write it as our vector could also be expressed as a plus b a I'm sorry a i plus b j like that. So it is three in the x direction. So it is three i plus now it's four in the j direction. Four j. That's it. It's another way of writing it. Yeah, that's it. That, that's basically for these. Yeah, it's just, I's are just your x direction. And instead of writing it as coordinate, it's now writing it as a plus or minus. It, if if 4 went down, that would be minus 4j. Oh, oh, so like in 25, it's like giving you like four different ways to find it. And you just gotta use it. Like you just gotta find it using the vector that give you. Okay, cool. I was looking at it off the On which one? Read it to me. I'll do it. So it's given vectors A and B find, and it's like A is 2A, B is 2A. A is 2A. Uh, and then B is 2A plus 3B. And then uh, C is B minus 3A. It's 25. Or no, not 25. It's like that, that like whole little. Like, like that? Four. And what was the other one? B equals I plus J. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to plug it in, I guess. Yeah. 
Yep. Is that a... Did I write it correctly? Yeah. It looks weird. No, here's the... It looks weird. It's like, I don't know, it was weirdly formatted. I didn't like get it at first, but I was like, I think you get it now. I don't know, I'm just assuming you gotta plug it in for A, B, and C. It's like, the one that they give you? Uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, do two times A. Yeah. And then the other one would be like... Yeah, so two A. times A for that one is gonna be... So this is the one that you're actually doing here. So two times whatever the A is. So this is A. So it would be plugging this in there. So it's going to be 2 times 2i, which is going to give me 4i. The next one is going to be B is this, right? So we're plugging this into B. So this one's going to be B equals 2 And my A is times 2i plus 3. My B is i plus j. Like that? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to give me 4i plus 3i plus 3j. So together this gives me 7i plus 3j. Or you can just take photos of what I'm doing up here instead of watching the video. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. It's the reason why I, I can't monetize. No one wants to watch my video. Or I'll just take a selfie with, with it. Does that make better sense or no? If you have questions, please speak up. Otherwise, it's going to get interesting. It makes a lot more sense now. At first, when I was reading it, I was like, bro, really want to do this? Like, only this? See, it's you just plug it into C2. Yeah, so if you had something for for that, and then C is going to be uh, B, which is I plus J, I plus J uh, minus 3 times A, which is 2I. Combine those together, so it's going to be I plus J minus 6I, and together I get negative 5I plus J. A little bit better or no? Yeah. Because those are the three answers it's asking for. It's 25. So it's, 25. so it's asking for all this, this, and this. And, you gotta plug it and this is your given here. Is that better? Yeah. Hopefully. All right. And... Okay, so we got this one right here, dot product, two vectors right here, denoted by v times u, dot product given by u times v, it's ac plus ad. So we took ac from these two right here plus bd this and this dot product so my formula said we're gonna do what AC which is okay so what are we doing those times if there's no operator in between it means times. so AC means a times C so 2 times 4 is 8. And plus BD. BD is these last two here. It's going to give me negative 3. Which gives us 5. So my dot product there is just like this. Yeah. This times this. 
Look, box oh, oh, it. Oh, okay, I get it. Like, you're, like, multiplying them. And yeah. then you, like, go and do the actual thing. Right? Yes. You multiply first and then add them together. Add them together, yeah. Uh, All right, so let's do the next one. So for part B, I'm multiplying what? Six times. Very good. So six times negative two is going to give me. Negative 12. Okay, and then do it again over here. 12. It's going to be plus 12, which gives me. Zero. Zero. Is it actually really easy? I've been trying to tell you, but no one will listen. All right, properties of the dot product. For all U, V, and W with real numbers K, followings hold. U, uh, the ones that we actually really have to worry about, we've done all these already. This is a distribution. This right here is also a distribution, but it's distributing the other way because it's times everything in the parentheses. This one right here, same thing. So they're all being multiplied together. So it's, you could rewrite it like this because they're all being multiplied together. So this is doing the dot product first and then multiplying by K, the scalar. Anything times zero is? Okay, and u times u is magnitude of u squared. Okay. Geometric implication dot product. If theta is the angle between the two non-zero vectors here and here, then u times v is going to be magnitude u, magnitude v times cosine, or cosine this right here now what if i was looking for the angle in this case right here this is super important if i was looking for the angle i do the inverse. so it would be an inverse so it'd be a theta inverse cosine of all that so u times v so that one right there is dot product right and this right here is I'm multiplying my two magnitudes. This is usually the part where it gets a little bit hectic on this because you have to go back be like, all right, we just did dot product, which is this. Okay, multiply these together. And but to get the magnitude, you have to go back to the beginning. To get magnet, oh, there we go. Magnitude is we did the Pythagorean theorem to get the magnitude. Yeah. Okay, uh, of getting that in there. So does that make sense? Yeah, sorry. Okay. So sorry. I'm I'm hoping. I want you guys to actually start working on this though, because this. This is actually, I think it's easy. It's just, it's a lot of stuff. And so I'm not going to do any more. I want you guys to have time. Work on your homework, please. Okay. There you go.